Alright, three, two, one, hey! Ho! Pat, would you like to choose your own adventure in my Bandersnatch? No. Did that butterfly just explode? Uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't watching, I was I was making a Bandersnatch joke, because oh, it has man. the word snatch in it. Which is also on Netflix right now. Well, yeah, it's a Netflix exclusive. Is it? Yeah, is it's that? a Black Mirror special, but it's a Netflix... Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about the movie Snatch. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. I think that movie's overrated. I like it, but like... Okay. It's like the thing where like, I feel, I feel like it's good, but I don't get why that movie over dozens of others always gets picked for stuff. Right? It should have been Boondock Saints. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better than Boondock Saints. Nothing. I better still than enjoy Boondock, Boondock Saints. Saints as well. That's I, I don't. You're gonna hear me <laughs> if people hear this. We're gonna hear both of us trash a lot of things that we will then in real life just go and watch. <laughs> I'm sure of it. There's gonna be. There's probably already been like ten different things. I ain't naming them. I ain't incriminating myself. I got that guy just because I felt like dude. it. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, we had uh, to kill some time waiting for that leaf. Yeah. Oof. When I was a kid and playing video games, I guess I had a lot of unchecked aggression. I guess I still do, but, uh, <laughs> I always liked just getting all the things, just gotta hit them. Like, when I, was, when I was a kid, I remember specifically being mad that I couldn't kill that plant. Or uh, walk off of, like, the bank. <laughs> you know, like over there and there. Okay, one of these is doing the Snapple. Nice. Oh yeah. This is going great. I love this game. Bonus round. What's your game that's like this? That like you're any day, any time. Like I you can go to it. I don't know. Sonic Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel ya. <laughs> you were playing a little bit of that last night and it's just like, oh yeah, go here and you'll get a cutscene. <laughs> That was amazing. I'm glad I have you for that, because like, that oh, game is frustrating. It's nighttime, and then the, the trains are shut down. Okay, then you gotta do the uh, Twilight Park section. Maybe that's why I'm doing so well at- that was weird, I should have broken that box. Maybe that's why I'm doing so well at this today, is because... I was playing that ratchet ass game last you night. You did it! I'm gonna need- Thank you, Crash! <sighs> yeah! I'm just gonna stand here, by. Watch her blink. You can watch her blink for a while. <laughs> That's crazy. I gotta be more on pressing A in between stuff. Watching that baby blink. Oh, this is a PlayStation, Pat? Oh, yeah. X. Sorry. They, thank you. Got they are all the same to me. <laughs> I wish I could say... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm. It's hard. Do you know what else is hard? Uh, I think I do, yeah. Solving the complex issues that affect our world today. You just killed me and took away my masks. <laughs> I just <laughs> Do you know what else is hard? Uh, I'm sorry, what? My, I know nothing. My my bones are pre pretty hard from all the calcium. My so. bones. Never broken a bone. Me neither. I've gotten close. I've never even gotten close, but I didn't do anything as a child, so... Are you prepared to laugh at some ass crack? I think, like, all of my brothers have broken at least one bone, though. Yeah. Except for Carlos. Your brothers, Damon, Shmamen, and Layman. <laughs> and Fergus. <laughs> Taman, Damon, and Bamon. Carlos. <laughs> and he's gonna. Oh. Well, oh, this is a boss? Yeah. It, Look at his butt crack. Yeah, this is a butt crack showing. <laughs> 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 oh. Whatever. Did, ah, yes. Clash, Crash is classic catchphrase. Did you win? Yeah. I didn't even see you do anything. I just, just jumped, jumped on running around. I just and jumped on him three times. And oh. I took a hit there. Nice. Rolling Stones. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to censor this for YouTube, or else we'll get copyright struck. What jo is this? JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, making a bunch of references to music. Oh, yeah. Dude, okay, so we- I think we- we started that show since our last recording session, right? I think we talked about it a little bit on- on something, didn't we? I don't know, maybe. We probably. haven't even really watched mon much in like the past few weeks, But though. we hit it a little hard. We got- we got through the first major arc. We got through two JoJo's. Yeah! With two- like some mojos of JoJo's right there. No, no, there. no, one JoJo. Oh, Embryo, hey, we, what's We got up? through the first JoJo. He killed Dio. But not really. Because you never kill anime characters. 
or Star Trek characters I'm learning. I've also been watching Star Trek Discovery on CBS All Access. Whoopsie. That's a great death animation. That was really enjoyable. Thank you for your free trial of name dropping CBS. If you would like us to name drop more of your IPs, please provide your credit card information. Please put more shows on your platform. <laughs> Cause like I like Star Trek Discovery, even though I feel like I shouldn't. Are there what's what's another show on that platform? Uh, they just actually started the Twilight Zone with Jordan Peele. Oh, I NPR did not have great things to say about that. They liked one episode, but not the other episode, which I thought was entertaining. Are there some somebody was like one's good, one's bad? They're like Jordan Peele is no Rod Sterling. Well, I'm. I don't think Jordan Peele as a host is a bad thing, but it's like, well, I, I don't know how much of the original show's format was due to Rod Serling as a showrunner, compared to how much of this show's format he is being the showrunner for. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think he's just like the presenter, where Rod Serling was actually like largely in control of the project. Yeah, he was producer and a writer of some of the first ones. Yeah, he was like, yeah. But I think, I don't know, I think Jordan Peele's is the same thing. I think he's a cool dude. Yeah, I want to no meet problem him. with him. Our buddy has met Jordan Peele. Yeah. Shout out to Wonder Boy. You know who you is. Our wondrous boy. You do it. You're, you complete your dreams of becoming an actor. Yes, complete all over your dreams. What have I got? I got what you. What have I got indeed? Oh, this one drops! Oh, you got God, but you got the mask. Tana. That was worth it. That was worth my little maneuver. Got the most legit maneuvers. <laughs> Send me maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not legit anymore. <laughs> oh, Did God. you just jump, like, towards the screen? Yeah, I just forgot you, you could that? do that. Whoa. Yeah, that's... That should illustrate how fucking hard those parts are. Because, like, every moment is that, like, straight and miss. Dude, you know can what see else the bottom of the pit. It's super hard. Stop. Diamonds S are one of the highest rated things on Moe's hardness scale. Oh! The second highest <laughs> being my dick. <laughs> you know, the uh, walrus is the uh, second largest penis out of any mammal. Penis or penis to body ratio? Penis. Whoa. You know who's the first? Me? No. You. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a super death. That goes all my good faith anybody watching this had and me do being good at this. I believe in you. I believe in Pooh. I believe in the you that believes in me, who believes in you, who believes in me, who believes in you. So, work that out. I'm still into Pooh. You, poo. Just a little bit. Just, just like yeah. a natural idea. Yeah, look at you getting through that shit. What was that guy? That was Embryo. Was that? He is the harder bonus levels that you still have to get to get certain paths and little hidden bits. Uh -huh. So there was a box I had missed at some point, probably in the other bonus level or some shit like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorite music from when I was a kid. This is my favorite. Dude, I need to get a marimba. If they only weren't like $5,000. Like, not a cheap fucking, like, plexiglass marimba. Banana, like, an actual banana, beautiful banana, fucking rosewood marimba. Banana, 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 banana. Yeah. That's, like, the one thing I missed from high school band is just, like, having a marimba to fuck around with whenever I want it. I want a little child-sized xylophone for this room. <laughs> Dude, that's that'd be I dope. Want. That'd be great. Oh, my God. You just need to get a glockenspiel. Oh, shit. I mean, they're very different from xylophones, but I think they're But they're cool. not that different. They make a completely different noise. Oh, fuck yeah. You can tell I played this a shitload as a kid. But I always love love songs with good glockenspiel in it, because when you use it tastefully, it sounds dope. <laughs> that tasteful glockenspiel. Yeah. Can you taste it, the glockenspiel? It's delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sound effects are great. Gotcha out for that pig on a spit. I feel like this level might be why I'm into Mario Kart as an adult. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! I probably clipped out the mic on that. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. All right, you can do it. Ride that warthog. Is it? Is it a warthog? Yeah, it's, this level's called Hogwild. Oh, uh, and so you're. So does. 
Those things on spits are also warthogs. Yeah, that's why he wants to get out of here, too. uh, He could have been cooked, but instead I'm riding him to freedom. Instead you have to dodge the, like, displayed corpses of his friends and family. Instead I'm going to take him into this booth at the end of this. We're going to put down the curtains and we're going to fuck. Oh, shit. (sighs) That's what I get for saying that. Yeah, that's that's karma right there. Ain't going to stop me from fucking this little bee. Look at those eyebrows, that's how you know. <laughs> it wants to stick it in its piglet. <laughs> uh, oink, oink. So my mom really expressed an interest in watching this. <sighs> and up. She will one day, I'm sure. <laughs> She's gonna hear that and just be like, oh. Oh, what have I done as a mother? Oh, that, that's not, I mean, this wouldn't be that. <laughs> See, and then I close the curtains and then and it's a zipping noise. After everything she's seen you do in life, she'll just be like, you know what? This this is okay. This is what makes you happy. Well, this adds up, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm not into it, but like, it makes sense from like, a, like watching him over the years. Native Fortress. Isn't Crash a native of this island? No, because Crash was created in the giant, uh, uh, like, Cortex Tower. And the, uh, mind bender or some shit. Right, but what about when he was originally just a normal bandicoot? Or was he born as Crash Bandicoot? Or did they take oh. a normal bandicoot and infuse it with rad 90s energy? I think they were trying to make- he's trying to- Don't tell me why, but he's trying to make, like, a perfectly smart animal thing. Like, he's just been making animals for sidekicks forever. He wants to fuck them and wants to make them smart enough to consent. Well, I think the idea is is he can't control, like, people as well as he can, like, control something he creates. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he he can, like, he does have, like, lab assistants Yeah, he seems to have, like, the natives on his side if you have to go through their fortress to get to them. I think the natives probably just see you as a scientific abomination. Which you are. Well, definitely. But I like how they gave him genes. (laughs) And, and their jeans, they're not sweatpants, they're jeans, and he has a belly button. Those are two things that they dropped in the new one, and it's like, uh... Passionate about Crash Bandicoot character design. I am. It's, like, my favorite... I didn't have Sonic growing up. I didn't have Mario. All my friends did. You had a Super Nintendo. Yeah, but I, I didn't... It wasn't like mine. That was always my sister's and dad's. Uh, mine was the PlayStation. Uh... And I was, and I was like, they could only play those ones. That was your first system that was really yours? Mm-hmm. I get that, because, like, we had a Nintendo when I was a kid, but, like, that was always, like, something I watched my older brothers play. I always liked how that breaks down in families. I didn't have my own, like, own console until the N64. Oh, and dude, that nice. That was dope. That was your, that was your, like, own one? Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. That explains how you feel about Jeff Force Gemini. I never actually played the game that much. I just remember people talking about it a bunch when I was a kid and wrenching it once and being like, oh, this oh, is neat. Oh, it's so cool! I don't really know what's going on or how to do anything, but it looks kind of cool. That is one of the harder jumps in this level. You did it, though. I hate this level. Is this the I one don't... you were talking about earlier that's, like, super sucky? Yeah? Okay. We no, weren't on that's my... the rope one. Okay. Yeah, so there's the rope bridge. Isn't... Uh-oh. 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 Yeah! That's fucking pro! I'm not trying to speed run this, I'm just trying to do a nice clean... Nice clean, not even 100%, just... No, 100% speed run, super playthrough! No! No, please what no! Is the, what is the 100% speed run record on this, oh, actually? Fuck. It's so hard not to just scream into this mic. Uh, I don't know. Crash probably like, Bandicoot speed run. Probably like... Half an hour? Like, glitch-free, half an hour. Glitch-free, 100%. Yeah, I'd bet, like, half an hour. Uh, See, any percent is 42 minutes. All gems, an hour 16. And for 105%, hour 58, 59. There's no way I'm getting 100% on this today. There's no way I'm even any percenting in in 42 minutes. So, yeah, getting the extra, like, extra 5%. Takes like a fucking hour. Jeez. This oh, this is the part I hate. I do not like these. I think two is the best one. I really I'm best at three. My favorite's two. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But this one is still great. Uh-huh. It's just very 
rough. It feels yeah. like they were really. It's good. It's like that magic kind of like ooh, you know. It looks like a solid, fun platformer. It's kick ass. It's got the platforms and the enemies and collectibles. Oh shit! This fucking. And then this little bit, this straight up just like guy damn it moment. That like, how is anyone supposed to know about this? This was this made me so happy when I was a kid because I was talking earlier like I really wanted to go off like, the map. Yeah, do the riverbanks and stuff. So I was always trying to do it, and then the game like rewarded me, and that was my first like holy shit moment as a child. Was finding that that makes me uh, mm, a little warm feelies. Yeah, it's just the coffee. Yeah. Caffeine helps with these games so much, though. He took the hit. Just Gamers have through. always known that. That's why we drink the Holy Mountain Dew. You know, you know what I miss? I always get it whenever I can find it. Balls. B a w l s. I'm sorry balls. about what happened to your balls, Pat. Well, they it was disappeared. A terrible accident. They disappeared. Why did you drink all of it? The last time I found some was the Eclipse, which was awesome. And I was making a joke about how you had no balls, and that's oh. why you missed them. Well, I mean, I don't. Oh, The sodas are all gone. I had a hey no-slip grip on so it. So many lives! You have 28 lives, dog. I have 30. You're killing it. If there was an it to be had, it would be dead, because you killed it. Oh man, that would that'd be great for the kids in that movie. <laughs> If I could uh, just kill the super space creature known as it, is it a space creature? Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was just kind of like a psychological horror creature that exists. Well, I mean, in the new movie, because they're not Stephen gonna. Stephen King's a terrifying universe to live in. No, because Stephen King's a terrifying universe until he explains it. That's yeah, what it is the Stephen King <laughs> universe created by the Dark Tower series. And then, like, it's the giant turtle, like it. I can't even. I can't even. I'm sorry. And so I was, because it used to be full of mystery when I was a kid, and then I grew up, and then Wikipedia and stuff, and you're like, that's what it is? It's just a giant crab spider? Spoiler alert! Just like a giant interdimensional crab spider thing yeah, that, that feeds dumb. on fear. But that's why the new movie is so good, is because, like, it doesn't have to be. It can just be a crazy psychological thing. I don't know, they did make the Dark Tower movie. I didn't watch it. That's because it was bad. Got, I love Idris Elba, too. It's got Idris in it, yeah. But, like, I didn't watch it. I don't know watching that. Our buddy, our bu good buddy Travis, he likes it. Huh. But he doesn't like the, the movie, movie or the book? The okay. Books. Okay. He likes Dark Tower as a series. And even then, it's probably not all of it, you know? It's like Harry Potter. There's good ones hey, and there's bad ones. Hey, there's some water there. You should, I know, uh, I had a twitch uh, moment. Watch I had a twitchy it. moment. You said the N-word? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor? Because Twitch? Like the streaming platform? And how everyone on it is a fucking asshole? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, everybody. <laughs> we'll be on Twitch soon, probably. So, I'll see you assholes later. I want to hit the butterflies. I think he can do it. You mean a ninja? Ninja butterflies. Ninja flies. Oh, fuck you, monkey. Spank that monkey. Yeah, I'll go outside and have a good night. I'm gonna stay in here with my monkey. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're gonna be having quite a fun night. See, we did it up quoting Chappelle. Did we? That was a Chappelle joke. Oh, I didn't even know. I said AIDS is, has a riff thing about how they said scientists say that AIDS is from people fucking monkeys. Now it's probably from and eating undercooked bush meat. Oh yeah, but conceptually the joke is great because it's well, like, yeah, I remember that. It gets passed on to humans. It's like, what do getting monkey pussy is gonna get real pussy and da 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 da. I'm a white guy saying a black guy's joke. Okay, <sighs> uh, if I just say it like this. You won't know who said it originally! Well, that's swell. <laughs> it's a safe way out of it, I don't know. <laughs> Just say it like this. <laughs> What's the widest character on TV? <laughs> who did you say? Like, right now? Like, in your opinion, like, the one you've Ever? seen. Yeah. I, I don't know, it's such a... 
the whole conception of white is like a vague, vaguely defined like mystery. Like okay, well I yeah, think- we have the idea of like white skin is whiteness, but saying who is the whitest character? Yeah, uh, Fred from Scooby Doo. Just gonna put that out there right now. <laughs> Uh, if, either Fred or Archie. Well, like, since they put Archie on TV now, uh, Riverdale. Yeah, that's some fucking white people shit, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's the, that is the cream of the crop right there. Oh, uh, well, cream your crops. <laughs> the Blanco Cremo. <laughs> Creme de what? Blanco. <laughs> what are you laughing? You sucked. Oh, my God. I've never done that before. You just bounced off him all pinball like. I never. You usually just die if you take that is much. There, is there crash pinball? Is that a thing? Oh, probably. I feel like there should be. From Vicarious Visions, <laughs> the fucking sellout company that made shitty crash games until they made a half crash decent remake. Pinball. That sounds bad. Picture should match. <laughs> we should. You should Google more on our streams. Uh, yeah, totally. No, there was there was a. It happened again. <laughs> There's something right. called Crush Pinball. Right, we'll catch you next time, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this monkey.